Today, I'm all about damage. Nothing else matters, only damage. So we're gonna start with the very expensive Starlight Sip. Damages all enemies or something sounds like fun. And this is one amazing potion to start with, combined with my Curse Fairy. Our Blessing conveniently lose less gold on death. That's okay, we can make up for that very easy. And our damage to start is 74. Heal when praying at an altar? That mixes very well with my Curse Fairy. Because by happy coincidence, we have an altar right beside us. Since there's not an immediate damage upgrade, we're gonna increase maximum health, which later on should add damage. No legendary relic yet? That's okay. While there aren't any relics at this shop, there are two potions that I can use. Average you level of all the blessings, that can turn into damage later and remove all curses. I'm actually gonna drink Holy Clays now. Not really gonna make a big difference, but I want this to double items. Double items later could be double keys, extra extra damage. And I dislike that damage so so much. And um, we just found U 235. Bomb damage is proportional to the number of carried bombs. Plus that adds five bombs. So this might be a bomb damage run. I didn't specify what kind of damage it had to be. Our next relic I barely want to pick up, so let's go to the shop and hope to find a way to change that. While well, we can change these things. This is pretty fun. Another potion to remove all curses, but also bombs keys and sets health to one, so it's not really going to work out for me that well. But since we got one of these, let's remove a curse and see what other kind of garbage we can dig up. Another curse removal? Sure, why not? We'll stack up five later on. Alright, so all I'm looking for are bombs. Of course we didn't find any, but I found a second impish key bomb. Normally I would transmute this, but I'm gonna take it because it can drop bombs and it can drop a lot of them. Now it is very quickly need to stack up 10 curses. Another not great relic. But that's okay, our bomb damage is already up to 255. We'll sacrifice a bomb for this because, well, we got a key bag and deal more bomb damage. That's convenient. Boss fight time. This won't be anything special given my fully upgraded hero. That was easy, nothing special, moving on. Now, we're getting somewhere about time this idiot showed up. So it's either block a hit once in a while, which is boring, or open locks for free, but for how long? We'll take that one. You know, curses, why not? Plus this will save me on keys, which translates roughly into more bombs. And that of course means more damage. That cursed statue gave me explosiveness and a bomb bag. Given that I just got the curse item eater, I think I'm gonna have to use this potion that should get rid of all my curses because that's going to take away bomb damage. I also need to be super careful not to hit myself with bombs because that's going to do a lot of damage. Which is boo become cursed. Yeah, just what I always wanted. Sounds good to me. Oh, okay. Did not expect that many curses. In fact, I don't know what I thought because I didn't think. So I'm going to carefully make my way to the shop and hopefully find another item doubling potion or two or three. This actually gives me some pretty cool opportunities. I'm trying to think about the best way to do this. I got to go to the shop first. Okay, never mind. I have a curse that drops a bomb. So, uh, uh, right. Not really sure what happened there. I think I jumped, took damage, therefore I dropped a bomb. The bomb followed me into the next room, and then it blew up in my face where I died because my bombs do so much damage. I was so excited for that run. I had very big dreams. That hurts. So, uh, damage. I kept restarting until I got deal more swing damage, so here we go. This is the kind of start that I spent many hours searching for. I didn't exactly have to tonight. Spent a bit of time, but that's to make up for that other run I had that I don't want to talk about. Finding the duplicator on the very first floor more or less means I'm going to have all the relics I want by the end of this. The shop is here to offer me no relics at all, but that's okay. I've had better choices in my life, but that's okay. Like I said, I'll have basically every relic I want by the end no matter what happens. Next up, both non-damage items. Uh, sustain yourself on gold, I guess. No, we're going to take this one. Destroy empty chests for items. Nothing? Because more items are good. The shrine doesn't offer us direct damage, but increased chance to critical strike. That technically is more damage. It almost seems like the game is messing with me tonight because there's the shop behind a locked door. The relic on his floor also behind a locked door and no keys to be found anywhere. The game decided to help me out. Here's what's at the shop. At least one more key so I can at least get the relic. Okay, what we're gonna do in this run is get all the bad relics out of the way first and then really good relics at the end. So no relics, huh? There is an altar in a bottle. So I guess we'll take swing size. This altar has increased critical strike damage, one of my very favorite. Need some keys? Finds a bomb room. After struggling to find a key, we gave either the blood bomb or the battle axe. This increases swing size but decreases damage, so we're definitely not picking that up. Another altar, so we'll go swing speed because no damage option. I'm pretty sure the game is doing it on purpose now. Only one relic, not a good one, no keys. There we go. There's a relic that's going to help me out. Overstocks a shop. Of course, it's not going to give me any keys, but it's going to overstock the shop. And there's a potion to remove five curses, plus a key. Those mythical creatures. The choice between a tent or the adventurer's hat. Discover more secret rooms, why not? One shop later, we don't have a damage relic, but we do have a transmute potion, so let's do that. 
gonna add an altar and then we're gonna turn that hopefully into some kind of damage. That's not a damage relic. That's also not a damage relic, but there's a shop and a bottle, so we'll get another chance at this anyway. All right, Ed, one more try. We're just gonna take whatever it is we get, which is when healed, heal again. On the second story of the floor, we do have drop two potions, which is a rare one. It's no doubt gonna drop me garbage, so we're gonna pick everything up and leave after taking more swing damage. Next, our choices between enemies hit with a thrown pickaxe take more damage or reduces swing damage and increases throw damage. Well, at least if I hit things with my thrown pickaxe, I'll take more damage after that. I did 164 to whatever that thing was. And we'll take increased chance to critical strike. One shot later, we have the mythical two relics. Which, obviously, are going to turn into two superstar relics eventually. I am going to take Kurt's stash because that turns into a bunch of stuff later that I can definitely use. Alright, so gold will sometimes duplicate itself. That's what we're left with. For this one, we're just going to go with increased throw range. It's not really going to matter because I'm hoping these can turn into damage later anyway, so it won't matter what one I take. One day, I will find even a single damage relic. But for now, I get the golden idol, so that's pretty fun. Like damage. I mean, we do have 90 damage so far, which is going to be enough for this boss considering it's nothing special. And that was easy. Right now, it really feels like I'm a glass cannon, but without the cannon part. A shrub, just what I wanted. The game's actually messing with me. It has to be. At least we've got two relics at the shop, which one day might turn into something of use, but we're not quite there yet. I'm really, really impressed with how bad my luck is. It started out as good as can be. Couldn't have asked for a better start. The shrines don't want to offer me damage. Speed it is. On the second try, swing damage. All right, my momentum's about to turn around. I can feel it. And just like that, I was actually right. Consumes all current and future blessings, converts them into swing damage. I will take that, but before I do that, let's get rid of the first five current curses I have, so we only have to deal with two major curses, which gives me uncreative, only one blessing is available at altars, which doesn't matter, receive more damage, which kind of sucks if you're me, but that gave me 104 extra damage off the top, 178 now. See, increased swing damage, 205. And the shop has one relic, but we can also add our transmute to the room to turn it into a good relic. Before we do that, we're going to double our bombs to an amazing 18. I'm going to take the treasure map, but I want damage and only damage, which is exactly why I want a swirly gold Vortex. Two blessings out of a chest, which is extra, extra damage for me. Three keys, maybe worth it. There is a bomb bag. And let's go ahead and bring our follower up to a higher level. Or at least almost there. Game, I wouldn't say no to a keyblade right now. Or, you know, not much of anything. This will drop me a blessing, though. Wait, what? I tried to alt F4 out of there. Didn't do it fast enough. That one. Probably my fault. I think I had a curse where I took damage for food. Increased critical strike chance for each carried curse. Combined with increased chance to critical strike. Not two floors later, and I think this could be another good run. Deal even more damage when you critical strike. This skeleton has a note. Curse the undermine, curse the pilfers, and most of all, curse whoever finds my stash. You mean this one? It's just a potion. You threatened me over a stupid potion? How'd that work out for you? So after very painstakingly making my way all the way back to Halls 4 where we left off, here we are. I currently have 16% plus whatever 5 savagery blessings gets me for critical hit chance. Which does mean I do a lot of critical hits and I have the lasers. So that's going to make bosses like this pretty easy. Because I don't have to go anywhere near them to hurt them. At least until I get hit because I'm very tired. But that is doing a lot of critical hits. I just put those out. Alright, I'm just going to tank on through because I don't have time for this. It's very late and I'm very tired. I'm doing 196, 200 crits. Not nearly high enough, but after all these hours, I don't know what to do anymore. The tricky thing now is I do have to keep all of my curses to keep this critical hit chance. And we have a rare double secret shop. So even if it doesn't add any relics, it's certainly going to add some items that I could use. One relic, I'll take that all day long. But increased experience gain for familiar? Yeah, it's kind of lagging behind. And this one changed into Dark's Hammer, transmute an item by hitting it. Which we don't really need to do. I'll probably hit this one just to see what it turns into. We're taking the ring. But we can definitely add a couple of swing damages and maybe even a few new curses. Either way, we're at 70% Critical hit chance, plus the six blessings that boost it, so that's a lot, at least one in five. Here are three halfway decent relics, none of which I want for this run, so we're going to transmute them all. And they're going to turn into much better ones. Increase health and damage. Increase so damage, swing size, swing speed. And more swing damage at high health. 
And the best part is, I've had all of these curses, I haven't found a legendary relic yet. Here's one that's gonna help us, King's Crown, which turns into the Emperor's Crown, which gives us extra extra damage. And another three blessings? Me and I now have a 19% critical hit chance, plus the critical blessings. So 335 is what I'm hitting for, I do 168 damage, so I'm doing about double damage, and 1 in 5 hits. I just need like 6-700 more damage overall. Not sure exactly what I got cursed with, but I'm now up to 23% crit chance. Alright, I'm at the point where I've got to use this potion to remove a specific curse. I was hoping to wait. But I've got to get rid of this. Shop costs are converted to health because I'm taking damage for everything I buy and I need to buy things. Plus, I kind of need to be at high health. Neither of these do swing damage, but Ricochet is just nice so I can be lazy. And I plan on being very lazy. I'm hoping I can mostly just sit here and my swing speed isn't very quick. Probably because all of those curses. But I get the extra critical hit chance, so maybe it's worth it? It sure has a lot of health. But don't worry, as long as I'm doing critical hits, I'll win eventually. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Alright, here we go, and you're dead. Alright, time to only find the best relics in the world now. Or not, that's fine too. The Ricochet is kind of cool with the Ghost Pickaxe, kind of hits everything in the room at once. Still not as good as my lasers though, which were short-lived because I got touched. But let's go for another three curses. My damage is at least high enough that I'm really hurting most things pretty bad and kill them in one or two hits, so it's not too painful. Two bomb upgrades, that's what you want to give me, we're transmuting those for sure. Give me something better. Lost Curses Become Blessings is normally one that I quite love, but... Alright, I guess we're going to light things on fire. Imagine blowing up all of these with a gold bomb. Oh, I forgot about the extra dangerous pilfers, so that could be annoying. Hey look, my bomb relic is back. I'm gonna pick that up at this point because why not? We can actually get quite a few bombs if we play this right. Bombs do 465 damage, that's certainly lots. It's too bad they can't do critical hits though. A Keyblade can add a lot of damage. So even if I just drink one of these potions right now, 21, so that's gonna bring me up to 235 swing damage, which makes my critical hits very big. And a good guy to test it on. We're doing 410, 430 hit crits, and that's enough to kill him in three hits. That's another item doubling potion, so if I find a good key ring, we're gonna double that a few times. But for now, we'll just stick to another few blessings. We got three swing damage out of these ones. So our damage is going up, up, up. Since we're nearing the end, here's what we're gonna do. Double those keys into four keys, double those keys into eight keys for lots of extra damage. I completely forgot that I had Dirk's Hammer this whole time. I probably could have had a lot better relics had I been actually thinking. So that's pretty fun. Anyways, we'll hopefully turn this into something better. Not really, but we did get an altar, so that's another three blessings. Which means we're doing 288 swing damage. But what does that work out to on a critical hit? 700. Not too bad at all. Then we combine that with this, attack quickly without stopping, we might be getting this a pretty insane damage. No relics on our final shop, and that's just fine. Because I think I've pretty much got things to where I want them now. I think as long as I land at least one critical hit on things, they will die. Two regular hits, maybe not. But you know what? I'm okay with this. I was really hoping to have a lot more everything by now, but you know what? It's just one of those nights. I'm sure this will all be very straightforward in the end. I lost my laser beam ability already, but he's barely hurting me, and we're just gonna smack him in the head until he dies. Hmm. You know what? The damage is okay. If I'm doing over 500, I can't complain. I was really hoping for over 1,000 though. But again, it's just one of those absolute disaster nights, and I have no one to blame but myself.